This is the oldest computer that I have, yet it is still in service. It used to be also the oldest computer that I had in my bunch until this computer popped up. So anyways, what is this? It's an IBM Aptiva. It's a E19F uh, with dog, fur and everything. I just shut her down to take her down for maintenance because, yeah, my dog sheds a lot, so I want to make sure uh, the whole thing looks clean. And uh, there might be one more video after this, and then I am not going to make any more videos until I get proper video equipment, as in like a camcorder and a tripod. I'm sick and tired of freaking smartphones. So anyways, enough of that. Let's uh, begin. You open the door here. Here, anyways. Revealing a... Uh, uh, what is this? A CD burner and a floppy drive. You can have a few things here. And the model is a 217019F. Make that seamless. Have the button there. Nothing much. Just a power button. And it's been designed by for Windows 98. And it used to ship with the name DK62450. And that's what I have now. I found the computer with the name DK62400. But I replaced it with the 450. What do you guess? It used to come with a 6 gig hard drive. I don't think you can see that. See, this is why I need a better camcorder. Um, started with 64 megs and a 40x CD-ROM drive. Hmm. Yeah, I never really had that character uh, characteristics, actually. So, anyways, I still have the sticker. It's fun. It really looks really bad, but, eh. All right, well, uh, let's open up the inside and see what's in there. Yeah. Well, there's a site for stupidity. Uh, I have two Ethernet cards here for the uh, monowall system, and they're both without screws, so, hmm, good thing I took it down. Let's uh, shed some light in there. Much better. So, uh, over here in this spaghetti splat reveals the AMD K62450 CPU. Uh, it's kind of caked in dust, so I'm going to have to take care of that. Uh, it's got 512 megs of RAM, because why not? And the infamous silicon integrated shit chipset. And uh, this one, I thought this was a one-chip uh, setup because SIS used to actually make that. It was everything in one chip, uh, integrated graphics, everything. It was cheaper, and when you actually had it, it was for budget PCs. If you want to make something good out of it, it was terrible. But whatever. It's a chipset. It works. Oh, man, there's shit everywhere. Here, here, and under there. Ugh. And we got the two Ethernets without the screws, as I was mentioning. A little, the small little buzzer does its job. And the, meh, what is this? I think it's the uh, switch light. Yeah, I think that's that. It's the power lights. And you got the hard drive and the power button right here. As well as the uh, ID cables and everything. Uh, This one, let's check out the... Mm. Let's check out the hard drive. 40 gig hard drive because why not? Dust. Smallest power supply. And uh, this thing is a 100 watt power supply. Jeez. So anyways, I'm going to take this old boat anchor uh, downstairs. I'm going to give it the cleanest shot ever. And I'm actually going to put the screws this time. I'm going to be an idiot. Thanks to the matter. <clears throat> Thanks to the magic of editing, this computer has been cleaned, and I put the screws where I wanted to. So now all I have to do is throw the cover back on, plug in the VGA cable on this screen just to make sure that everything's fine before I throw it down there, and throw the case back on. I hate clamshells like this. Ugh. Monowall computer, check. Gayest keyboard I own, check. Period incorrect monitor, check. Air conditioning for maximum cooling, check. The super duper long power cable plugged in, check. Let's plug her in. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I'll just check to make sure everything's fine in, this, in the uh, BIOS. Man, I love IBM. It's a little off-centered, I think. Oh, well, I won't make it a big deal. Uh, there we go. Make sure everything's in there. Yeah. Oh, it's a 500. I upgraded it to 500. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything there. Yeah. 512 megs with the 8 shared memory. Yeah. 40 gig. Everything's there. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. Let's just see uh, model info. Pretty much what I have. BIOS state's a little old, but eh. Might be the first one actually. Doesn't tell me the BIOS revision. Does it tell me here? Nope. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Do I really want to exit setup? Yes. Let's see if my two cars are going to be recognized. So, like this, I'll be able to pretty much. How can I say this? get that thing back up and running here we go both of them are found so that's good I can shove it down there and not worry about it no more well for a while until I go for maintenance one thing you gotta remember is an AMD K6 is an i586 architecture not an i686 so therefore the monowall version on it is 1.34 and it works well with that AMD K6 system I am pretty sure the newer versions are also working but since this one's flying the way it is if it ain't broke I won't fix it so there you have it this is the IBM Optiva 2170 19F an AMD K6 machine budget oriented and for its day it was also probably one of the cheapest solution you can have from IBM anyways and it actually does work quite well still to this day that thing's been reliable even if they have the crappiest chips that I can ever find in the market, doesn't mean it's not reliable. So you have it if if you have any comments, questions, anything I've overlooked or not covered, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Until next time, take care.